The game developer Zynga is downsizing. The company announced it's laying off 520 employees, a cut equal to about 18 percent of its labor force. Zynga will also be closing its offices in New York, Los Angeles and Dallas. The goal is to save about $70 million to $80 million in pre-tax expenses annually. But why such a large cut for the maker of popular games like Farmville and Words with Friends? The answer is simple. Zynga wasn't ready for the rapid rise of mobile platform. In a letter to employees, Zynga CEO Mark Pincus said, The scale that serves us so well in building and delivering the leading social gaming service on the web is now making it hard to successfully lead across mobile and multi-platform, which is where social games are going to be played. One analyst put it this way, in a mobile world, they have yet to create a hit game of their own, despite supposedly amazing analytics and 3,000 people, 500 fewer today. But it's been clear for a while that Zynga was facing an uphill battle. Ever since its public offering at the end of 2011, shares have fallen and games have been short-lived. Company shares fell 11.5% and have plunged about 50% over the past 12 months. And take, for instance, Zynga's purchase of OMG Pop, the maker of Draw Something. Highly popular at the time of the sale, but after a few doodles, Draw Something failed to make its mark. And just last year, Zynga cut 150 employees to save somewhere between $15 million and $20 million. A writer for All Things D explains it's these types of cuts that mirror a dismal trend in mobile business. This is a right-sizing of Zynga to reflect a more somber reality that these mobile businesses are not as large as its web-based one that rode the startup to glory on the explosive growth of social networks, primarily Facebook. But Pincus might have an ace in the hole to save the troubled company, gambling. Last year, Zynga filed an application for a license with the Nevada Gaming Control Board. Analysts say this could be a significant opportunity for the company. USA Today reports forecast for 2017 suggests the U.S. gambling market could hit $7.4 billion. And when it comes to mobile casino type games in general, card games, slot games and dice based games were hot. Such games landed in the top three genres for revenue worldwide in 2012 for both Apple, iOS and Google's Play. But for now, Zanga's cuts are projected to be completed by August. For Newsy, I'm Jasmine Bailey, Multiple Sources, A Broader View.